Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we have got this five by five square. That means there are five rows and five columns. And now we have been asked to construct a magic square such that some of these rows must be equal to 165 and some of all these column must be 165 as well and moreover the sum of all these numbers in this main diagonal must be equal to 165 and in this minor diagonal must be 165 as well. So let's go ahead and get started with our solution and the only number that has been given to us is 21 and based on this number 21 we are going to fill out this magic square such that the sum of all these rows, columns, and diagonals is going to be equal to 165. And here's the very first step. We are going to take this approach. We will always start off, we're gonna go in a diagonal direction. That means going top right. So that means we are going diagonally to this place. And after 21, this number is going to be 22. Now we can see that this 22 is outside this magic square. So whenever this thing happens, we are going to move this number, this location over here by just pretending that this uh, box is connected to this one. So our number 22 is going to show up right here. And now we are going to move from 22 diagonal way over here to 23 and then we are going to move to this direction that is going to be 24 and since this number 24 is outside this magic box so this is going to show up on this side since this side we are pretending this is connected to this one so 24 is going to be here and now let's move from 24 diagonally to this over here 25 and now let's move diagonally again but the problem is this number is already there so we got stuck and here's another rule whenever we are in a, this kind of scenario when we have an already number in that cell so then instead of going diagonally we are going to move downward so this number is going to be 26. And now let's move on once again with this 26 diagonally. 26 is going to go to 27 and this 27 is going diagonally again to 28 and this 28 is going to go diagonally to 29. And now we can see this 29 is outside this magic square so this number is connected to this one since we are pretending so this 29 is going to show up here and now let's move on from 29 we're going to go as usual diagonally this number is going to be 30 but since this number is outside this magic square so this number since it's connected on this side we are pretending so this 30 is going to show up here and now let's focus on this 30 we are going to go diagonally this direction but we got a number already over here so therefore we are going to move downward so this number is going to be 31 and now let's focus on 31 we are going to move diagonally so 31 is going to give us 32 right here and 32 is going to give us 30 3 and this 33 is going to give us 34 and 34 is going to give us 35 and here's another rule whenever we end up at this top 
right corner over here, then we are always going to move downward. We're not going to go diagonally, but we are going to go downward. So therefore, since this number is in the corner, we are going to go downward. So this number is going to be 36. Now let's focus on this number 36. We are going to go diagonally over here. So this number is going to become 37. And since this 37 is outside this magic square, so this is going to show up 37 over here. And now this 37, we are going to go diagonally once again. So this number 38 is going to be here. And since this number is outside this magic square, so this is going to show up at this opposite side. And now this number 38, we are going to go diagonally. So this number is going to become 39. And 39 is going to give us 40. Now let's focus on this 40. We are going to go diagonally right here, but this number is already there. So according to the rule, we are going to go downward. So this is going to give us 41. Now let's focus on this 41. We're going to go diagonally. That is going to give us 42. And 42 is going to give us diagonally to 43 and since this 43 is outside this magic square so that is going to show up on this side and now let's start with this number 43 and we are going to go diagonally once again after 43 this number is going to be 44 and then from 44 once again diagonally that number is going to be 45 and now we can see that this 45 number is outside this magic square. So let's pretend that this box is connected to this box. So this number is going to show up over here. So this number is going to be 45. So thus our this 5 by 5 square that is now we call it magic square is complete now. And we can see that if we add these rows or columns or diagonals we are going to get this number 165. And here's our final answer. This is a complete magic square whose sum is 165 in a rows, in a columns, and in diagonals. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.